Jackson. I answered, hey man, Michael Jackson's got a second personality. Because they look a lot alike, don't they? Michael Jackson and Jim, what they used to, uh, Michael Jackson, he's, you know, <laughs> rest in peace, brother. But back in the day, I really thought that Janet Jackson was Michael Jackson. That's true, true, true. 8.35 in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio, Robert Abrams Radio. Friday morning, TGIF. Finally, the weekend is here. All right, right. The weekend equal. Man, man. Here in San Antonio, Fiesta is in full swing. No doubt about it, man. Lots and lots to do here in San Antonio this weekend, man. It's, of course, the Battle of Flower Parade kicks off in a couple of hours in downtown San Antonio. Then, of course, we got, what do we got? We got Market Square. We got uh, San Fernando. We got Nyosa. We got Tahano Explosion. Uh, we got the BMW over there on uh, in downtown. Then we got DJ Abel Martinez performing at the BMW on Fredericksburg Road. Lots of stuff going on, man. Decisions, decisions. Good morning. Shout out going out to Elsa Valdez. Joining me from Mississippi and the cops. I'd like to thank Elsa for all of her hospitality. When I was out there at Biloxi, Mississippi at the Bower Boss Casino. Thank you so very much, Elsa. And I do mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. Good morning. Shout out going out to San Juanita Lasso. Joining me from the Valley and the Casa. There we go. Come in. Good morning. Shout out going out to Olga Ezra who says, Robert Rivas, Robert Rivas, Viva Fiesta! Oh, God, you don't go to Fiesta. Why are you yelling Viva Fiesta when you don't even go to Fiesta, Olga? What's your problem? Anyways, <laughs> getting after my listeners, right? Here. Hey, PJ Robert, come on. I go to Fiesta. Okay, 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 okay. Settle down. Anyways, it is. What time is it? 8.36 in the morning. And, um... <laughs> Um, I'm not lying to you, man. Last night, man, I, was, I, I think I didn't have one beer. Not one drop of alcohol. Nothing. And I was watching the Spurs game and stuff, and, uh, man, you know, it was a, yell, a lot of yelling and screaming and stuff, trying to cheer on my team. And, uh, lo and behold, it worked because the Spurs move on. And now they take on the Houston Rockets in a seven-game series. going to be one mean mother. It all kicks off Monday night at 8.30 right here at the AT&T Center in good old San Antonio, Texas. Good morning. Shout out to Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez. You know, Cynthia, she's pissing me off. She's pissing me off, Cynthia. She likes flirting with me. <laughs> he says, Cynthia, pinche Robert, cabron. Cynthia's flirting with me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just playing. I don't want to get Cynthia in trouble. Cynthia's practically a married woman. Yes, she is. And that's her problem, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see here. Let's see what's going on. You know, yesterday I didn't have no papa. Yesterday I was there. Um, actually, I went down to Market Square. Cindy, Martinez, Hernandez, and uh, myself, you know, she goes, Robin, let's go to Market Square. And I go, no, Cindy, I don't want to go, man. I don't want to go. I want to stay home. She goes, come on, come on. Quit being a party pooper. So as the Cindy accompanied me, we went down to Market Square, walked around a little bit. And I got to tell you, man, we got out there about 1130, close to, close to 12 noon. And there were people all over the place. They were already drinking and partying and throwing gritos. It was happening at 12 noon. Right, and then we went to go in at La Margarita at Market Square, and um, there was like about a 30-minute wait, and we went waiting and waiting, and I kept on telling the girl every five minutes, hey, 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 we've been here for an hour. She goes, no, you haven't, sir. You've been here five minutes. All right. So then about another five minutes, hey, hey, we've been here for an hour and a half. She goes, no, sir, you've only been here 10 minutes. Okay. And then another, hey, we've been here two hours. She goes, no, sir, it's only been 15 minutes. I go, man. I can't get one by on her. Anyways, <laughs> Cynthia Gonzalez, I mean, this is getting after me. She goes, yeah, right, Robert, shut the hell up. All right, okay, I'll shut the hell up, Cynthia Gonzalez, I mean, so anyways, um, really, man, for Market Square at 12 noon, I mean, they were packed, and mind you, let me just say this, if you're going down to Market Square today or anywhere in downtown San Antonio, be prepared for... No parking. And if you find it, it's going to be expensive. 20 to $25 parking. The further you are, the further the cheaper it's going to be, of course. But from what I saw, it was 20 to $25 parking. And they got $7 tacos. And they got, uh, that's pretty expensive. The beer, $6. And then uh, the hookers are, I think, are, I think they're, uh, what is it? I think it was just uh, $100 for 10 minutes. And I go, man, <laughs> woohoo. 
cool. Eh, forget it, man. I'll just do something else for those 10 minutes. I'm keeping my $100 bill in my pocket. But I did ask one hooker. I said, ma'am, uh, do you take a Pizza Hut coupon? And then she threw me the finger, and I said, well, I guess she doesn't. Anyways, I tell you what, it is time for question of the day. But before we get to question of the day, check this out. Crazy, crazy story. A woman. Huh? Uh-oh, Cynthia. Cynthia's pissed off at me. Robert, shut the hell up, Robert. Okay, I'll shut the hell up. Um, check this out. A woman claimed she was removed from a United Airlines flight last month after the staffers refused her request to move a cat that was seated nearby. Eh? Anyways, it's the, the woman was on a flight from Baltimore, uh, for, uh, from Baltimore to Chicago, right? All was fine until the lady noticed that a fellow passenger at the gate was boarding her cat. I thought that normally they would put the cats or the animals in the back of the plane, but obviously not in this case. So the lady notified the airline staff that she needed to be seated at a distance from the cat due to health reasons. She told the staff, I have a lot of respiratory problems and asthma, and the cats would trigger that off. Right? Okay, so you with me so far? So, after boarding, the lady says that the woman with the cat was seated just a few rows away and said, that cat, ese gato, is too close. I need to sit somewhere else. So, the flight attendants told her to swap with another passenger in the back of the plane. The lady refused. She goes, no, I'm not going to move. Have the cat move. Don't move, move me. So, what happened next? Well, <laughs> uh, the lady was told, was told that the crew was uncomfortable with her griping about the cat, so she was going to have to be removed from the plane. How crazy is that? How crazy to be removed from a plane because you're allergic to a cat? She wanted the cat removed, and they said, no, you're going to be removed. And there you have it, being removed from a plane because you said you had issues with a cat. That's crazy. It really, really is. Really, I've flown many, many times, and my arms always get tired. Eh, not funny. Okay. But anyways, I've flown many, many times, and to this day, I've never seen an animal being brought on board, you know, putting, being put right next to on a seat. I've never seen that. I've seen a couple of dogs, but, uh, you know, those girls are pretty ugly. They were a couple of dogs, but we're not going to go there right now because this is a family show. But to be removed because they did not want to remove the cat. Instead, they removed the lady. She probably deserved it. She sounded like if she was being a really, really, like a big bitch. She really would. I know. I said it. The word bitch. I said it. I can say that. This is internet radio. It's not a bad thing. Everybody nowadays, everybody's calling each other a bitch, and that's sad, right? You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to come straight. This is Friday morning. Friday mornings are getting wild and crazy. I like it when a girl calls another girl a bitch. I like it a lot. <laughs> I do. <You> know. <laughs> the other day, man, I was going to H-E-B, and some girl stole some other girl's parking. I don't know what happened. I got there at the back end of everything, and all I heard was a girl yell at the other girl, You stupid bitch, you took my parking. I said, all right, woohoo, some bitch action, here we go, call her, call her back, call her the same, yes, call her back, you know, I'm looking for some action here, man, come on, it was a slow Tuesday, <laughs> and that's true, it really is, good morning, shout out to Diana Yanez, joining me on my morning show, man, Michelle Ramirez Williams, now, um, that being said, let's get to my question of the day, question of the day, simple, straight to the point, um, Let's see here. Question of the day. Are you allergic to an animal? There are people that are allergic to animals, etc. That's true, true, true. So head on over to Robert Reavers Internet Radio Group page right now and answer me, pregunta, por favor. Are you allergic to an animal or anything of, you know, etc.? You know, no lie. Back in the day, I used to date this girl, and every time I would be close to her, I would sneeze. I'm not lying to you. I would sneeze and she'd get down on her knees. But that's uh, that's another ball game. But really, every time I'd see this girl, I would sneeze. So every time we'd go to bed, you know, I'd, just, you know, I'd hold my nose. I'd put a clothespin on my nose. And, uh, I don't know what it is about you, man, but I'm allergic to you. But it doesn't mean I'm going to say no. But I am allergic to you, but it doesn't mean I'm going to say no. So I put on the clothespin and there you go. And then as soon as we were done, I said, honey, you got to go. 
I'm allergic to you. You got to go. So anyways, head on over to Robert Reber's Internet Radio Group page right now and answer me. Pregunta, por favor. Are you allergic to an animal? Any kind of thing like an animal whatsoever? Are you allergic to something like this? Anyway, Cynthia Gonzalez, I mean, from Houston, Texas, says, Robert, 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 can you play something for me? And I go, like, what, Cynthia, like what? And she goes, well, babe, can you play some Gary Wright? I said, look here, Cynthia. Don't be calling me babe, all right? Don't call me babe. You can call me honey. You can call me corazón, but don't call me babe. Yeah, it said, okay, I'll play your song. There we go. Let's do it. Let's do some Gary Wright. Love is alive. Double R Radio, Buenos Dias, Friday morning.